Hey, what's up guys? Your boy is Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Auto 5 real life mod video and today we are at our tow company. We're going to be doing some heavy duty towing today. You guys have been asking me to do another tow episode all week in the comment section so today is the day. So anyway guys, we have a report of a Kenworth T660 that overturned up in Blaine County so let me go ahead and get the rest of the details from uh, Jess and see what exactly happened where it's at and how we could go recover it so i do know it did flip over on its side we're gonna have to use the um the heavy duty record to flip it back over and then tow it back to the shop so today should be a really fun action pack episode and if you guys do enjoy do me a favor go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit it right now smash that like button all right let's roll all right uh just what we got today okay it's gonna be a truck you know if it's loaded or not it is loaded. Okay, so that's going to be even more of a challenge. And where exactly is it? U.S. Route 1. Okay. And is that north of Polito or south of Polito, you know? It's going to be north of Polito. Okay. And northbound. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got all the information we need. We're going to go ahead and get going. Uh, we got a couple guys around in the shop, but most of the guys are out working. So this is going to be a pretty intense uh, rescue here. We're going to have to flip this thing over as well as tow it back to the shop. So I am going to bring some guys with me today um, to help me out because I'm pretty sure it's going to be crazy. Um, if you look over there, actually, you see the Silverado there waiting for me. So I got two guys in the Silverado, and I'm going to be driving the heavy-duty tow truck here today. So let's go ahead and get ready to hop in. I really hope one day somebody makes like an American version, like a nice Kenworth style wrecker or Peterbilt wrecker. That would be awesome to see in game. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this truck started and ready to go. All right, we are ready. So let's roll, guys. Let's go ahead and roll. Now also guys, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We do upload new videos every single day as well as live stream as well. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell so you know whenever I post a new video, you'll be able to tune in and you will know. <laughs> Always got to go fast on that so we don't bottom out. Alright, so there's the Silverado there. We'll uh, follow them to the scene. Looks like they got their lights on. I still got to figure out how to fix the light bar on my truck because it's kind of broken. I'll show you guys here in a second. But Alright, let's get ready to roll. Alright guys, so we are now headed out. So we're just basically will follow the Silverado all the way to the scene. So I could turn my lights on as well, but you can kind of see mine are kind of messed up. We got to try to get that fixed. But oh, we'll do that at another time. Alright, so we're going to have a pretty long trip. We're going to try to jump on the highway and then just, you know, fly down the highway to the scene. Um, obviously, you know, we can't do too much here because we only have amber lights. Can't, like, really respond and put a siren on and everything, but we do want to try to get there as soon as possible. Alright guys, so it looks like we are about to arrive on scene. Let's see who's here. I see Department of Transportation is here. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the right lane. See, so yeah, they have the message board truck up. It looks like they got a lot of cones. Let's see what happened here. So they have a lot of cones down. I see the fire department is still here. I wonder if they got the person out yet. Okay, so there goes the trailer. Looks like we have fire. 
And Rescue's also here as well. All right, so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a tricky one, guys. Let's go ahead and park up and take a look and see what's going on. So there goes our guys over there. So it looks like uh, Blaine County Tow Company was on scene. I think we gotta expand our tow company to Blaine County uh, as well. They got on scene first, but obviously with those uh, flatbeds, they can't really do anything with a big Kenworth truck like this. Oh, this thing is messed up in the front too, guys. Oh, the guy is still in there as well. Wow. Hey, what's, what's up, guys? So these are the Blaine County tow truck drivers. So the guy is still in there. Oh, wow. They're trying to get him out. This is crazy. Let's uh, let's take a look while they're working and see if we can start assessing the situation. But this thing is bent up like crazy here. Let's take a look at the trailer. Looks like the trailer is still intact. It looks like it just rolled over. Not too much damage to like the wheels and everything. Oh wow, all of the stuff came out as well. The door is popped open. All right, so we're gonna wait for fire and rescue to keep doing their thing. They're using the uh, jaws of life here to try to get this person out. Hopefully he will be okay. It looks like they got EMS standing by to transport him as well. So yeah. Fortunately, we don't have a real Jaws of Life in the game, so we kind of just have to uh, use what we got. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to keep working on him and try to get him out of here. So uh, I guess we'll just uh, stand by until they're ready for us to move in. Alright guys, so uh, EMS just took off. Uh, took up the rescue just took up as well so they're back in service and I think the fire yeah the regular fire trucks are still here so they transported the person we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to figure out how we're gonna get this thing flipped over now so I got my guide with me uh, let's see what we're gonna do here first thing I want to do is inspect the fifth wheel I'll just make sure everything's still connected here let's take a look and looks like the fifth well is still connected. Looks like we're good. Drop down here and make sure. So the fifth well, if you guys don't know, that's the part of the truck that connects to the trailer. So as you can see there, everything's still connected. Um, surprisingly, we're not leaking too much fluid. The tanks are still pretty much intact, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. That's good. So I think we're going to be okay, guys. So I'm thinking... Um, all right, this one I'm thinking. We're gonna get the record. We're gonna get the record parked up there, and we're, first we're gonna just try to flip it over. So we don't have much space to work with. We only got like one lane, but I think if we attach about like right here, we should be able to just flip this thing over. So let's go ahead and grab the record and do that. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. And we're trying to just winch it right up. So we got the main line here. We're going to run that to the truck. We'll go ahead and attach that right there. All right, so what we're going to try to do is just flip this thing over. So we're going to try to just pretty much use the winch and try to flip it over here. So let's jump back into the truck. I think I'm going to move it forward just a little bit and we'll try to flip it over here. Okay, so this should do it right here. All right, guys, so for some reason, I can't wind it up all the way. It says it's winding, but it's not, so we're just going to have to pull forward and try to flip it over. So let's make sure everybody's clear. Everybody's safe. Okay, here we go. Let's just pull forward. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it is, guys. Okay, so we got it to flip over. Um... Alright, I think let's release it now. Let's release it. And this is going to be hard to try to pull it up this like really high hill. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, Alright, I didn't want to pull it here. Let's push it back. Alright, let's uh, try to set it down here. Alright, everybody's clear. I'm dropping it. You clear? Okay. 
There we go. I didn't mean to pick it up with that hook. I made a mistake there. All right, so let's go over here where it's a little bit more level. It's still a big hill, but it's a little bit more level. All right, so what we're gonna do now is try to pull it straight with the winch again. So let's go ahead and connect to it. Okay, so we are now connected. And we're going to try to pull it in now. Alright, let's see if we can pull it. I don't know why, the winding just isn't working. Alright, so we'll just pull it ourselves. Let's pull it. Alright, so that should be nice and straight. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how badly this thing is damaged. I think we should be able to tow it without much of a problem, so let's go ahead and inspect it. Man, this Kenworth looks so sad right now. <laughs> look at his face. It's like it's frowning. Like The bumper is like the lips. <laughs> it had better days. Alright, so let's see. We should be able to hook up to the bottom and tow this thing. Let's just inspect it. Alright, so the fuel tanks are still good. It's not leaking, thank God, because that would be more work. Fifth wheel is still attached there, so that's good. The trailer, surprisingly, is not that bad. It just got scratched up a bit, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so we're going to be able to take this without a problem. Let's go ahead and get attached. Now the attaching part in real life takes like forever. I was watching some tow truck videos and it takes them like about 30 minutes to get attached. They use this like fork thing, this black fork arm so, and it like goes back and lifts up the truck and you gotta like connect fork arm. It's pretty cool. It's, it's really cool how, how it works but it takes a lot of work. It's not as easy in Grand Auto 5 just back up and connect to it like this. All right, so we got that on the lift. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just check and make sure it's connected properly. That wheel looked uh, messed up as well, that front wheel. It's kind of bent up. So I'm gonna get my guys to check it out, make sure everything's good, and then we'll let police know we'll be able to tow this, and we'll see um, if they want us to tow it anywhere Pacific or if we should just tow it back to our lot. So we'll see what happens. Alright guys, so we pretty much have the scene on the control now, the fire department left, uh, the other tow trucks left as well, they, they saw there was nothing they could do, so uh, let's see if our guys got this thing ready to go. We got this thing high up in the air right now. Alright, we good? Alright, cool, so we're good. So let's go ahead and get back in, uh, we'll get this thing lowered a bit, and uh, we'll try to tow it out of here, and then we should be good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, lower this thing down a bit. There we go. And uh, now let's see if we can just pull out of here. It's gonna be a challenge here. Whoa, don't hit the pole. Okay, that did not go as I planned. I'm gonna have to kind of go out into this other lane a little bit. Oh man, this is good. Alright, so we are good guys. We are good. We made the rescue. Let me just pull over and wait for the rest of the guys and we'll make our way back to the shop. <laughs> Let's lower this down a little bit. I feel like we'll be having this so high up in the air. Alright, that should be good. Alright, so let's wait for the guys and we'll head back. Alright, so here they come. Let's get ready to roll. So they're gonna just follow us this time just to watch the trailer. Make sure everything's good, make sure our turns are okay. So uh, let's see, we have a long way to go. We gotta get all the way back to the shop. At this point, I'm thinking it doesn't really make sense to try to make a U-turn because we're kind of like in the halfway point of the map. I mean, we could make a U-turn and come all the way back down. But I feel like at this point, we might as well just continue all the way through and then come back around. So we have a long way to go, guys. Um, yeah, let's just do some trucking. 
let's just do some trucking now also guys if you guys are still watching let me know do you guys prefer if I skip some of the long drives like maybe do just half of the drive or should I do the whole drive so let me know in the comment section sometimes it's really long and I don't want to like extend a video so much because we got to drive there and drive back so I don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the video description I mean in the comments <laughs> but also guys make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys do enjoy and this is another successful tow here so we're gonna also make money for not only towing it and flipping it over and recovering it but also for storing it as well and we'll see if they want to fix it we can probably get it fixed at our truck shop as well and we will also be able to use our trucks one of our other trucks to uh, deliver the trailer as well so Lots of opportunity to make money on these wrecks, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So, um, let's see. Anything else we need to talk about while we have this long drive here? Um, there was something else. Oh, yeah. Do you guys think we should expand our tow company into Blaine County? Let me know what you guys think about that. But yeah, guys, I think I think there's some money to be made out here in Blaine County. Right now, all of the companies we own are out in the city. And even though we do operate out here in Blaine County, I think we could make more money if we have a dedicated like garage out here and work in this area. So let me know. Maybe we could go property hunting and look for a new place and then open up a tow truck company or another transportation company out here in the county. So let me know if you guys think that is a good idea. But anyway guys, like I said, we have a long way to go and traffic is just stupid. Well, that one was my fault, but they hit me first. Traffic is just stupid. They they always hit the trailers. It's like the trailers are invisible to them. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this part and I'll see you guys once we get back to the shop. Alright guys, so we're making our way back to the shop. We're going to be pulling up here in just a second. That was a pretty good that was a pretty good haul today guys so hopefully you guys did enjoy so we're gonna have to head around back to get this thing spun around all right so we made it back to the shop and uh, we'll uh, spin it around in the back and then we'll take it inside and we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure you guys let me know by leaving a comment. Let me know that you made it to the end and you watched it. Thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate that. And like I said, it does help out too because when YouTube see people watching the whole video, it recommends it to more video. Uh, more people to watch so looks like my shop is kind of glitched out with all this stuff we spawned today Well, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys again for watching I'll get this uh, this thing loaded inside and I'll let you know to update on the next real life mod video What happens to the trailer what happens to the truck and um, yeah guys that's gonna do it for today guys Thank you guys so so much for watching again Make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe turn on post notifications all that good stuff and I will see you guys Oh, it's working now. Okay, let's see if we could let's see if we could take it inside without it glitching out. Let's see what happens. So first thing we're gonna have to uh, take the trailer off first. So we got the trailer off. <laughs> it's like if only it was this easy in real life. I know I said that already, but in real life it takes so much longer to do all this stuff. Alright, so let's try to pull it into the shop. Now this is gonna be hard. Wait, what just happened? Why well, couldn't I pull it right there? It's like I had no power. Oh, did it? It just reconnected. Okay, let's just detach it this way then. There we go. Alright, so last time we tried to pull a truck in, it was kind of hard because we just couldn't get enough momentum and speed, but I want to try and see. And then we got to get like close before the door even opens up. Okay, the door is opening. <laughs> yeah, this literally happened last time too. Anybody remember last tow truck 
video we did. If you didn't, I'll link it right here so you can check it out. When we told the old semi truck. Okay, here we go. Flooring it. Uh, oh, 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 failure. <laughs> This is what happened. This is why we need another lot too that's easier to get in and out of because we always have this issue here. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Oh! Did we get it? I think we dropped <laughs> We dropped the truck. Oh my goodness. All right, let me see if I can pull the truck in. Come on, please be able to attach to it. Yes. All right. There we go. No, don't close on it. There we go. We got it in. All right, guys. So we did it. Oh, no. We're stuck again. What are we stuck on? That's the door, I think. I don't even know what it's hitting right now. Okay, okay, we did as good as we could. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This was a really fun episode. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!